Okay, as you can tell, my motorcycle is parked in front of a hotel again. So today, only did about six and a half hours worth of riding. Um, of the trail, I rode about 90 miles and uh, then came up to a road closed with no other outlet, so I had to backtrack. So lost a couple of hours, hour and a half probably, uh, to do uh, with that. And then the main thing today is just rain. Out of that six and a half hours, I've had two and a half hours of dry. It has just been pelting me with rain. I don't know what I did to upset the, uh, the weather gods, but if you can tell them I'm sorry, I would appreciate it. So, a um, lot of great trails. Uh, just slow going today. It's the mud, it's now turned into this kind of red clay, and uh, it's just kind of slick. So going over the rocks and everything else, it's just, you can't go fast. So it just takes a long time. Uh, had a tree, had to maneuver over today, um, right about lunchtime. That was in the sun at least, so that was good. Um, other than that, just rain, rain, and more rain. Had a couple more issues, uh, just things basically falling off the bike. Um, had my cell phone carrier um, come apart. So that made it all the way to the um, Arctic Ocean, back home, and a number of rides around home. So that is now deceased, gone. Uh, lost old glory off the back of the bike, the flag. Um, somewhere um, up uh, about the Georgia line at the Chattanoochee National Forest. Um, old glory is laying somewhere up there on the trail. And then last but not least, I lost my left blinker had uh, some issues with it getting a little close to the tailpipe burnt a little bit and uh, in Georgia they like to dig these dips in the road to keep the water from running all the way down and so you can jump across those right they're about uh, three feet little drops and so cruising across a number of those well I guess I caught a little bit too much air landed down and uh, took my blinker completely off so fun stuff and uh, yeah rain 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 hopefully tomorrow i will be able to make up a little bit of ground try to get out early um, and hopefully it will be dry everybody have a great day thanks for watching all right well started out dry for about four miles then it started to rain rain gear on I am deep back into the forest now. I believe I'm in Georgia. I was last night I stayed right on the state line. It is muddy. A lot of standing water. Thank God there are a lot of rocks on the road. Hopefully that will keep this from Turn it into a mud bog. Beautiful back here though. Pretty amazing though, when you wake up in the morning, the temperature is 66 and the humidity is 97%. This feels like a subtropical environment. Everybody tells me it's this way just during the summer, then August it lets up. Wow. Summers are pretty brutal. With all this rain, slick roads, definitely slows me down. Okay, this is a pretty spectacular view. I don't know how good this camera does on my helmet. But that's pretty damn amazing. So, I don't know on this helmet cam if you can really pick this up. 
This is spectacular. There's a thunderstorm overhead, not raining on me, but you can see it out across the mountains. I'm in Georgia. This is really something else. What a spot. See the lightning over there? Wow. Very cool. So yeah, after fighting the rain for a majority of the day at about 3.30, can't see through my windscreen or see through my uh, helmet goggles and raining so hard I decided to pack it in for the day. When I looked at the weather forecast, it is nothing but rain on the radar. So um, I am held up in a little town called Chatsworth, Georgia. So staying at the luxurious Super 8 Motel. About to have Mexican food. So short day. Uh, really hoping tomorrow will be a better day and be able to knock down a few more miles on the trail.